What do you think, people? Back to the bank. This is the money management. Let's talk about your financial situation. Now, before you think I'm taking shots at you or I'm trying to criticize you or any of that, whether your financial situation is good or bad, we're going to discuss it in this video. Your current financial situation is a result of the decisions you've been making over the years. How much money have you been spending per month on cars? How much have you been saving a month? How much money have you been spending on travel and food each month? How much did you invest? Are you saving? Are you investing? Are you living below your means? Or are you trying to look rich? Are you trying to keep up with the Are you trying to flex on social media? No matter who you are, whether you're a billionaire, whether you're the world's poorest person, each decision you've taken over the last few years has added up to this point in your financial situation. So, those of you who are getting constant cash flow in, but are constantly spending, you are where you are because of your constant spending. Those of you who have been living frugal, but been making money at the side, been bringing in different sources of income, you are where you are because of those decisions. Now, I am where I am today because of the financial decisions I've taken up over the years. Am I in the place I want to be? No. Am I better off than where I was a year ago, two years ago, three years ago? 100%. And that's all part of what this channel is designed for. So what I want to tell you guys is, the usual, avoid consumer debt, live below your means, make more than you spend, have more sources of income, don't try to look rich, play the wealth game. Those are the kind of things we always discuss. Those are the things which will create a better financial situation for you. Next year, do you want to be in the same position you are in now or better off? If you're already in a good position right now, do you want to maintain that position next year or do you want to become less financially free, less financially aware, less financially successful? We all know what we want to do. We're better off with more money than less money. We're better off living financially free than being tied down to expenses, tied down to credit, tied down to loans, tied down to owing people money. All of us have made decisions which have brought us to this point. No matter who you are, whoever's watching this video, some of you are extremely proud of your financial decisions. Some of you have used mistakes from the past to fuel your financial situation now. Some of you are like me, who once struggled financially, once took the wrong steps, but are now better off and continuing to rise. Some of you are stagnating. If you're stagnating, you're not earning enough. If you're stagnating, you're spending too much. There are many different reasons. But, as I've said multiple times in this video, no matter who you are, your financial situation at this point in time is because of who you are and what you've done with your money. As a person, as a human being, on a day-to-day -day basis, are you constantly spending money on eating out? Are you constantly spending money on Ubering to the club? buying bottles at the club, having a nice corner in the club? Or are you constantly investing, constantly living, living below your means and spending less than you make? Those are the critical questions which are going to decide your future, your financial future, your family's financial future. Freedom, whether you're the first person in your family to become a millionaire, whether you're the first person in your family to become a billionaire. Those sorts of questions are answered by the day-to-day -day steps we take, the day-to-day -day spending we do, the monthly spending we do, the monthly expenses we have, all those sorts of things. Instead of spending so much money per month on your car insurance, your car loans, getting your car wrapped, all those kind of things, how much are you investing? How much are you putting towards real estate, an investment property, stuff which will actually benefit you instead of looking flashy, instead of maintaining something which is a depreciating asset? Those are the big questions which are going to help us be financially free, become more financially aware actually excel in this world. Money is what you need to get to a lot of places. Money is going to help you, so spend your money right. I myself, I'm here to help at least one person every single day become more financially free, become more financially aware, become closer to financial freedom. You guys need to take your daily steps and it starts with small steps. It does. I know I say, you know, cutting out five dollar coffees aren't going to save you and make you a millionaire. It's true, but you have to start somewhere. So if you have to cut out three of your meals that you eat out each week and cook instead, do it. If you have to stop going to the cinema and watching movies five times a week, then do it. If you can do these things now, get them out of the way until you become so financially abundant, then it's going to be worth it. It's going to be, you know, make you think that you've done enough and you would have done enough. 
So do enough now so you can live better later. Live frugally now so you can live like others can't in the future. I need you guys to do that for yourselves. That make me do my job and that obviously means you can enjoy your life, a financially abundant life. So that's it for today's video guys. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. Comment on Monday's video, comments below. Keep living below your means. Avoid debt, all of the stuff I've mentioned in this video. But I've got money to be making, you've got money to be saving, you've got money to be investing. See you guys tomorrow for another video. Peace.